Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? It's been a while since I visited my own personal adult playground, the Dollar Tree. And I've got to say, as I rolled through the front door, a tear of joy rolled down my face. Because once again, I was surrounded by the best merchandise a dollar can buy. I always like to cruise up and down the non-frozen food aisles to build up my anticipation before I head over to the frozen food section to search for highly processed frozen foods. Once I get to the frozen food section, my eyes light up like a kid on Christmas morning. Ah, boogeyman! And at that point in time, I'm in my processed food zone. My overwhelming joy is not just for me, but it's for you, the people, so you don't have to try this stuff. On this adventure to the Dollar Tree, I picked up a few items, and one of them was a bag of cheddar cheese filled super pretzel poppers. A while back, the Kohl's company sent me some new products to try, and one of them was beer cheese filled pretzel middles. And they were average. Not great, but not too bad either. The pretzel to cheese ratio was way off. A whole lot of pretzel and a little bit of cheese. You, the people, must have shared my opinion or the Kohl's company watches my videos because I can't find anywhere where they're sold. So I got this seven ounce bag of super pretzel poppers with cheddar cheese filling for a dollar, which is much less than the box of beer cheese filled pretzel middles. The ingredient list isn't that long, but the majority of the ingredients are in the cheese, which tells us it's not real cheese. But I doubt any of us thought it would be real cheese. Per four pretzel poppers, there's 160 calories, 4.5 grams of total fat, 2.5 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, no cholesterol, 340 milligrams of sodium, 25 grams of carbohydrates, one gram of fiber, one gram of sugars, and four grams of protein. You can heat these up in the microwave, which I think would hurt the texture and make them chewy and rubbery. Or you can use the oven or toaster oven, which is what I'm gonna use. This bag must have been sitting around in the freezer section for a while. Look at the chunks of ice. Or maybe they were partially thawed and were refrozen. So we got rid of the excess ice so these wouldn't become soggy. Once they were spread into a single layer on the baking sheet, they went into the toaster oven for 10 to 12 minutes. If you'd like to help support the channel and get some cool wolf pit items, head on over to the shop and see if there's anything you'd like. If you don't see something you like, let me know what you do like and I'll see if I can make it happen. There's a link to the shop in the description. After 12 minutes, our cheddar cheese super pretzel poppers were ready and they didn't look a whole lot different from when they came out of the bag. Let's get these off the baking sheet and plate it up. And of course you can't have pretzels without mustard. But we tried one first by itself. When I first poured these out of the bag, they reminded me of something, but I couldn't put my finger on it. Until just now. I grew up on the coast of North Carolina and we used to use sand fleas a lot for bait. And these pretzel poppers reminded me of sand fleas. Can't you see the resemblance? Now I thought that was pretty funny, but it's not gonna be funny if they taste like sand fleas. So into the old pie hole it went. These pretzel poppers were on point. They had a very nice thin crispy crunch on the outside and then a layer of soft pretzel and the cheese, it tasted just like canned cheese, which I haven't had in years, but I love it. And they also were very generous with the cheese. I tried one more pretzel popper, but this time with some yellow mustard. The mustard did a fantastic job complimenting the pretzel as mustard usually does. They were good enough, we double dipped. 
The Super Pretzel Cheddar Cheese Filled Pretzel Poppers are hidden gems at the Dollar Tree for only a dollar. The only complaint I have is the lack of salt on top. The salt on top of pretzels is my favorite part of the pretzel. Besides the lack of salt, I love the pretzel poppers and I would absolutely buy them again. Which is why I'm giving Super Pretzels Cheddar Cheese Filled Pretzel Poppers a 9 out of 10. Thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I'll see you soon.